live from the main gym on the campus of Darien High School. It's Varsity Girls Volleyball on the DAF Media Network. This afternoon, it's a good one. East Division rivals as the Darien Blue Wave take on the new Canaan Rams. Hi everybody, I'm Damian Andrews. So glad you could be with us for this DAF media broadcast of high school girls volleyball. Joining me as she so often does courtside is Chris Leone, the former Georgia Tech volleyball standout. And Chris, if you look at this matchup on paper, this should be a good one this afternoon. New Canaan comes in 9-3 and three overall, 9-2 and two in the FCAC, and Darianne comes in 7-4 and four overall, 7-3 and three in the FCAC. Welcome in, Chris Leone. Thanks for having me. We're just about ready to get started here. This afternoon, our DAF media production crew, as always, all student volunteers who do a terrific job, extra effort, before this one setting up, our director is Braden Schenk. Our instant replay coordinator is Ben Wychulis. Our camera one operator is the great James Leone. And our camera two operator is Jack Blenke. We are just about ready to go here as Ellie Snedden will serve it up for New Canaan. Sails a little bit long. So Darianne gets a side out right away with Comiskey up to serve. And that'll be a point for New Canaan. And it's 1-1 one, one here. Emily Johnson on the serve there. Aaron Bowman goes into the net. Yep, she was swinging off the net, about 10 feet off the net, and just didn't have the right timing. That ball is deep. So here we are in the early going. You know, Chris, this has the uh, kind of the feel, I don't want to jinx it, of a five-setter. Both of these teams have played well right. this season. A rivalry match, to say the least, between two rival schools. And the block at the net, the roof, as Bowman is there along. Yep, it seems like a pretty even matchup. Uh, then you've combined that with the neighborhood rivalry next door neighbors and I think it will be a competitive match dig by Comiskey setter goes to the middle to Faye but New Canaan digs it up good defense down the line by New Canaan I want to make a quick correction. I said uh, I mispronounced uh, L. Snedden's name just moments ago. It is L. Snedden, not L.E. And Darianne now will serve as Sophia Tallwalker, who did a terrific rendition of the national anthem before this one. Beautiful voice, and now she's on the volleyball court. Outside to Bowman, but Buchanan gets a touch on the block to slow it down. Rallies kept going by both sides. Looking to Bowman again, but New Canaan digs her. And that ball goes into the net, and it's a point Darianne. So the home team, Blue Wave, out to a 5-2 lead here. Yeah, New Canaan's made a few nice digs, but they just haven't converted on their offense after that. And that'll be a point Darianne. Yep, it's another hitting error for New Canaan. They hit it wide, hit the antenna out of bounds. So we've got a quick break in the action here. 6-2 Darianne as we take a look at the New Canaan huddle. That is head coach uh, Kevin Marino, who has done a terrific job, has a great Volleyball pedigree uh, is the boys coach at Joel Bardlow and has been a longtime assistant 
and uh, he has done a terrific job with the New Canaan program. Struggled a bit last year, but the year before last made the state tournament, made FCX, and he has uh, really built this program back up. Paul Walker serves, and New Canaan does an overpass, and Rosalie Perone was there on the block to keep the point alive and give it to Darianne. There's Tall Walker, the floater serve, and it works for an ace. A little miscommunication in the back row. That sometimes happens with those knuckleball serves. People would joke that that's a husband and wife thing that happens <laughs> when it splits, splits them up and neither takes, <laughs> neither takes it. There's Tall Walker again, 8-2 Darianne as they jump out to an early lead here in this first set. Comiskey a little short on the dig there, so point goes to New Canaan. Set is tight, Bowman saves it with the tip. Good touch off the block, but couldn't quite play defense on Darianne's side. Andy Gravero back to serve for New Canaan. Good job by Bowman to keep that second strike alive. Down ball out of the back row for Comiskey, and she'll get the kill. So 9-4 Darianne. Last match we did was Darianne's 3-0 win over Stamford, and they played very well in that match. Comiskey, as I said to you a few times, had a major game and uh, certainly played a lot of volleyball in the offseason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she, she's definitely a senior leader for this team this year. She serves really well for them. She's got a lot of... Great defense in the back row, and of course, uh, swings with some power in the front row. Perone with the serve, and New Canaan's having trouble running their offense. And that is a point, New Canaan, a nice ball there. Stella Turner, the sophomore. This is a relatively young New Canaan team. Yeah, she found the hole in the middle where there was no defense. It was a smart play by her. Back to pulling on the right side. Okay. Yeah, oh, go ahead. No, that's okay, Chris. <laughs> As we take another look at this new Canaan point through the block. As Allison Leopold, one of the captains for this new Canaan team in the middle with a strong effort. A little mishandle on the setter for New Canaan. Good job by New Canaan defense keeping that shot alive. And Faye with a big swing. So the senior, Lindsay Faye. And Bowman gets the ace.
New Canaan having trouble passing today, especially on uh, Bowman's recent serves. Face swings a little bit wide on that shot, so the point goes to New Canaan. Good pass by Tall Walker. Swing goes outside to Comiskey, but New Canaan's able to keep it in play. Faye gets it over, and a free ball here for the Rams. Good defense by Hun. But I believe Pullen was in yep, the net. Net violation. Han has another nice dig on the left back. And a big block big at block. the net by Leopold in the middle. And we'll take another look at this. Can't really see Leopold there blocked by the official, but a nice <laughs> effort there by Leopold. Outside again to Comiskey. This time she gets the kill with splitting the left front and the left back defense. Comiskey with a uh, big effort there. And Faye will serve for the wave. Good defense by Faye. There's Comiskey, big swing. Another kill for Elaine on the outside. You know, uh, Darianne is using a new setter today. Um, normally, Rachel Hergett sets for the Blue Wave, but she's out with an injury, sideline with an injury right now. So we have Rosalie Perrone setting for the Blue Wave. Normally, she's just playing right side. So a big spot against your arch rivals. Yep. Arbu Bakker checks in for the blue wave in the front. Good pass. Arbu Bakar. And that's a big Off swing the on the outside by Emily Johnson, the junior. As I mentioned, a relatively young Rams team just four seniors on Kevin Marino's roster. Yeah, that'll be good for their future. By contrast, uh, Darianne has eight seniors on their roster. Mm -hmm. Here's Arbu Bakar, big swing. Yeah, she got that ball at the height of her jump, and when she does that, she's above the block and can bring it straight down. Yeah, great job by our production crew there. Serves a little long. Back to serve is Katarina Roth for New Canaan. Here's Arbu Bakar into the net. That'll be a New Canaan point. Coach Marino up off his chair instructing his middle hitter, coaching. There's a free ball for the Rams. And that is a, a nice big swing. swing there on the outside by Johnson. So Emily Johnson feeling it. 16-14, what a first set, Chris Leone. Yeah, the, the Rams have really made a comeback here. They were down by a lot, and now it's a tight set. 
And just as we say that, we jinx the <laughs> serve. It's deep. 17-14, Darianne. And Bowman checks into the front row for the blue wave. And that'll be a violation on Darianne, so it's a new Canaan point. Rams looking to pull even here, down just two. And Johnson to serve. Good pass by Tallwalker right on the money. Bowman. So Bowman with the point. Yep, she pushed it right through the New Canaan block. Let's take another look from this angle. Free ball for New Canaan. They'll look to execute this. It's a kill on the outside for New Canaan through the Darianne block. Andrea Grabero. Good pass by Comiskey. Faye went into the net. Gravero, the libero for New Canaan, and a big part of this team as Darianne calls a timeout. It's 18 to 16. We'll take a quick timeout. We'll be back with more live uh, girls varsity volleyball after this. We are back here, live girls varsity volleyball action on the DAF Media Network. Damian Andrew alongside Chris Leone. And that is a, a point for Darianne as the blue wave go up 19 to 17 as we take another look there. Rosalie Perrone back to serve for Darianne, number 14, one of the seniors on this blue wave team. Big serve by Perrone. Little miscommunication by the Rams, and that'll result in a Darianne point. Yeah, it's just what the Blue Wave wanted. They called a timeout. The match was tight, and they came out of the timeout and got a kill for a point right away, and then back for another service point. It's a good floater served by Perone. And that'll be a violation on Darianne. So the point goes to New Canaan. And back to serve now for the Rams is Alexandra Gillespie, the junior. Good look at Gillespie right there. Bowman on the outside. Dug down the line by New Canaan. Big swing by Faye. Nice, nice. right back defense. Yep. Good D by the Rams. Here's Perone. And that'll be. Caught the back line. Catches the back line. Bowman swang nice and high. I think even if it didn't hit the back line, she might have got fingertips of the block anyway. Bowman. 
think they're deciding on what the call is, but it was clearly in the line judge called in. Point, Darianne, 21-18, blue wave, and that is deep. The serve, Stella Turner. Nice pass by Han. There's Perone to Comiskey, and a little bit too much on that. That is long, and that is a point for New Canaan, and things now getting really interesting here in this As first set. As you said, set. it was going to be an even matchup. Tightening, uh, tightening up. Good pass by Tallwalker. And that is a point as it drops in for Darianne. Now let's take another look at this at the net. Our instant replay coordinator, Ben Wychulis, doing a terrific job. And so back to serve is Faye. Wave up two. It's an overpass. Arbor Baca right there at the net. And that is a point. New Canaan back and forth here as uh, the New Canaan faithful getting into it. You can see it as it's uh, our camera's shaking a bit. Yeah, it was nice defense by New Canaan on an overpass like that. Those are usually putaways, and they dug it up and secured the point for themselves. And that is out on the swing by Johnson, I believe. Yeah, it was Johnson on the outside there. Adesani's going to come in and try to close out the set for the blue wave. Good Big block. block. Wow, great defense. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was a lot of heart by New Canaan because it looked like it was going to be down. Let's After see this again block. really quick. Arbu Bakar playing a little ping pong there at the net after a big block. Yeah, that was a great play by New Canaan. Kind of teaches the players it's not over till it's over. You've got to stay with it till the ball hits the ground. Another great defensive effort, keeping balls alive on the New Canaan side. And a big swing by Comiskey. Blue Wave needed that swing and that point because the momentum was definitely on New Canaan's side with their keeping the ball alive. And Darianne a point away now from taking this first set. Now we've got a timeout New Canaan. We will take a quick timeout and we will be back with more Varsity Girls Volleyball on the DAF. Media Network. We are back here on the DAF Media Network. Darianne, a point away from taking the first set. Elena Kamiski back to serve. Arbu Bakar, and that's too much in the middle there. Twenty-four, twenty-three. Darian up one. The serve by Johnson. There's Bowman. 
Off the block, McCain and keeps it alive again. Great defensive effort by the Rams. It's an overpass. Good and job by Perone to finish that up. Oh, they're saying she was in the net. Oh. So let's take another look, Chris. McCain Here we gets are. a new life. And it is 24 24. Wow. What a first set here. That's exciting. Point. Inside the main gym. And head coach Lori LaRusso of Darianne wants a timeout. Nodded at 24. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back with more volleyball here. You're watching the DAF Media Network, a joint venture of the Darien Athletic Foundation and the Darien Foundation. We are back here on the DAF Media Network. Damian Andrew, Chris Leone. We've got a good one for you here, folks. 24-24. First set, Emily Johnson, the serve for New Canaan. Here's Bowman, big swing. Free ball here for the Wave. Good rally by both sides, keeping the ball in play. And Arbu Bakar finds an open piece of real estate here as we take another look. It was a smart play by her. And Tall Walker will serve for the first set here. And point New Canaan. 25-25. Darian played another one of these extra point matches uh, last week against West Hill where all three sets went to extra points. So there should be a use to this position. It's not anything new for them. Big hit out of the back row by Comiskey. And that is a point for New Canaan. As now they'll have set points. Alex Gillespie. Now Darianne's going to have to keep the ball alive because they're at a disadvantage here. Gravero now will serve for the first set for New Canaan. Good pass by Tall Walker. Block slows it down the hit from Faye. Adesani keeps the ball alive off the block. Bowman with the big swing. New Canaan keeps it alive, but wow. not enough. What a first set, huh? Back and Great forth, action. back and forth here. Darianne got out to the big lead, and New Canaan climbed back into it. And now it's been back and forth like a tennis match. Or I should say a competitive <laughs> tennis match. <laughs> yes. Ping pong, back and That's forth. That's right. Leopold in the middle. She is a presence in the middle for New Canaan, no doubt about it. Allison Leopold, the senior captain. Yep, she was hitting it right over the middle into the hole. There was some good defensive effort on Darianne's side, but it just wasn't quite enough. Overpass by Bowman. And that is a point for Lucky break. Darianne. Yep. That would have went for that would have went because nobody's done a, a, a dump, a surprise dump the whole set. So had she executed that, that would have went probably for the set. I think Bowman got saved. That serve would have been long. What a first set of this match. Kamiski. Big swing. Tight for Comiskey. Great save by her not to go into the net. Oh, gosh. She did a nice job saving that really tight set, and then there was a little miscommunication between her and middle front Faye. So New Canaan gets a set point again, looking to close out the set. And 
That is Turner serving it into the net. It is now 28-28 here in the first set. What a match in the early going here. Someone's got a string together. Oh, that's a great serve by Faye. Ace. And Faye with an ace at a very opportune time. Yeah, someone, as I was saying, has got a string together two consecutive good plays. Here's Faye. And Faye does it with her great serving. So Lindsay Faye comes in and serves up two aces as Darianne takes the first set 30 to 28. And we will take a quick break and we will be back with the second set here on the DAF Media Network. Darianne up one set to none. Welcome back, everybody. We are about to start the second set here of this varsity girls volleyball match between New Canaan and Darianne. The Blue Wave take the first set. And we are just about ready to get going in this second set. Darianne sixth right now in the FCAC standings. New Canaan fourth in the FCAC standings. This is a potential yeah, flip, conference yeah. tournament first <laughs> round is. match between these two. Yeah, it is. So a lot of things can happen over the next week and a half of the season. Big swing in the middle for Lily Gray, the junior. Gray and Leopold, a lot of height mm -hmm. in the middle for New Canaan. Right. It's a good matchup right now because you've got height in the middle on both sides. So we'll see the battle of the middles right now. There's L. Snedden. It's a good pass. Bowman. Yeah. Nice effort I, by New Canaan. Yeah, New Canaan's playing excellent inspired defense today. That's what I'm noticing the most in this match. Great swing. Good attempt by Comiskey to keep that alive for her defense as well. You know, it's funny. I, I, as you and I have talked about before off air, 
my oldest son is a big tennis player. Mm -hmm. And really, to compare this to, to volleyball, it's all about getting it back sometimes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can really frustrate a team by just yeah. playing solid defense and getting it back yeah, over the net. Until they make an error. That's exactly. right. If you have an opportunity to put away, you do. But other until then, you've got to just keep it alive. <laughs> Good swing out of the back row. It's going to be trouble for New Canaan. It's tight. I don't know what they're looking for. Uh, I think Bowman touched that ball and went out of bounds. So the point's going to go to New Canaan. Tall Walker will go back to serve for the Blue Wave. Good. Faye read the tip but couldn't quite get off the net fast enough to make a good play on that. The ball comes precariously close to our broadcast <laughs> location with all our equipment. Our instant replay coordinator, Ben Y. Chulis, saving me from... <laughs> Big swing for Bowman, and that drops in off the de New Canaan deflection. Let's take another look at that. Snedden just couldn't quite get it. 4-2 in the early going here. New Canaan, second set. Darian took the first set. And this has been a highly competitive matchup between these two rivals. That swing was never over, so it's a point blue wave. There's Rosalie Perrone serving for Darian. And that is long. Gravero back to serve for the Rams. Ooh. I do want to add, this is a, a dig pink right. game for Darianne here at home as so many of the players wearing pink. Yep, trying to raise awareness for a great cause. Breast cancer awareness. And that is into the net. Comiskey a little frustrated. And it's 6-4 now, New Canaan. And a point, Darianne, 6-5. Rams up, Damian Andrew, Chris Leone joining you. We have so far been very entertained by this match. Kind of thought it would be competitive looking at it on paper, plus you factor in the rivalry when these two schools get together in any sport. It's uh, more often than not a very entertaining matchup. Yeah, they bring out extra plays that they might yep. not have gotten otherwise. It has been kind of rivalry week this week on the DAF Media Network, Darian and New Canaan playing in uh, field hockey tomorrow. That'll be a great one, two of the heavyweights in the conference this season. Today we've got girls volleyball, and the last two days we've had boys vo uh, soccer and girls soccer. Wow. New Canaan girls soccer team beating Darianne 2-0 yesterday at Dunning Field in a uh, downpour, Chris Leone. Oh, gosh, did you guys finish that game? It, it was, wow. It, yep, it, they, they finished it. It was a great call by uh, New Canaan Athletic Director Jay Egan to move that game up from four to three. Mm. Was Tried able to, to get it, it in. in. Yep, yeah. was able to get it in. And uh, then the boys' soccer match between the two schools were was on, uh, on Tuesday. 
that one ending, actually, I apologize, that one ending in a 1-1 tie. And right now it is 8-6 Darianne as the Blue Wave have rattled off a few points here, consecutive points to take the lead. Yeah, it's been great serving again by Faye, continuing from the first set after she closed out the, the set for a win for the Blue Wave. She's serving well again in the second set. But she got a little help with some points. Uh, Arbu Bakker had a great block in this run, and Comiskey had a great, strong swing in this run of points for the Blue Wave. Well, if there has been a difference maker in this match thus far, as we jinx her, <laughs> you'd have to say it's been Faye, just right, by virtue of it was tied 28-all yep. in the first set, and then she serves out mm -hmm. the first set, gets the uh, last two points for Darianne, and obviously has given them the lead here in the second set, that serve is out of bounds, and it's 10-7 Darianne now in this second set. And Kanan's had a handful of service errors this set, which I'm sure is a little aggravating for their team because they can't get any points on the board and put any pressure on Darianne when they're missing a lot of serves. Here's Adesani to serve for Darianne. Big so hit. Nice swing. Nice swing that time by Emily Johnson, the junior, and we've got a substitution for New Canaan as Lily Gray comes in, replacing Andrea Gravarau. And serving for the Rams is Charlotte St. Raymond, another one of the captains. It's a great swing by Comiskey out of the back row. Eleven eight, Darianne. Wave took the first set. And that is a point, New Canaan. Want to give a quick shout out to our DAF Media Production crew. Our director for the first time ever, Braden Shank. Our instant replay coordinator is Ben Wychulis. Camera one, James Leone. Familiar spot for him. And our ISO camera operator is Jack Blanke. Good block. We got tall block on the blue wave side right now between Bowman and Arbubakar. Seth goes outside to Bowman. McKinnon keeps it alive. Yeah, there's some height on that left side yep. for Darianne. New Canaan had crossed under yep. the center line, so that gave the point to the Blue Wave. I believe that violation was on Gray. Oh, it was not a net violation. I apologize. Yeah, I think she was crossed. somebody gray. crossed under on the line. That's deep. Yeah, see another service there on the Canaan side. Perone the serve. I didn't see what just happened. Did she not blow the whistle yet? I don't think she blo blew the whistle. <laughs> Rosalie looked at the <laughs> official fat. and said, I'm sorry. She got a big <laughs> smile on her face, as you can see there. And that's deep. Good call by the line judge. Perone iced herself out of that one, I think. Chris, my eyes, I still have the eyes. They have <laughs> not uh, left me quite yet. I could see that from our position yeah. here. Good pass. Mishandle on the set by New Canaan. Point, blue wave.
Talk about the... Uh... Good pass by Han. They'll run the middle. Good block by New Canaan. And that uh, swing by Leopold, a little bit too much. Sails out of bounds. Let's talk about the standings. This has been a very competitive FCAC once again, and especially in recent years. Five different champs in the last five years. Trumbull won it all last year, and it's really uh, anybody's championship again this season. Yeah, which makes it kind of exciting yeah, for the teams. They no all doubt. have a chance if they can put it together and play well. A lot of parity as we take another look at this. Leopold with a big hit in the middle. Nice work by our instant replay coordinator, Ben Chulis. Comiskey out of the back row. Great deep swing by Comiskey to get that point. Bakar in the middle. And that finds a piece of open real estate. Yeah, Johnson's been hitting down the line a lot uh, this yeah. match. So the Darien defense is going to have to start picking up on that and kind of play, plan for it to go there. Johnson, an impress impressive player. Yeah, she's had some good swings for the Rams. And I'm sure the thing that... Uh, Coach Marino likes most about her is he gets her back for her senior season. Yeah, exactly. And big block at the net, and that'll be a point, Darianne. Yeah, it's a nice block by Arby Bakker. Uh, as we take another look, a oh, great angle here. Uh, actually, oh, it went in, over? it went into the net, yeah, so it the hit, the, the, hit the tape. The rest in our way yeah. looked like a block for us. Yep. Luckily for instant replay, we get all the... That's right. McKinnon keeps it alive off the ceiling. That's an overpass. Yep, Bowman did a good job on that. So Darianne now extending its lead to 18 to 14. We'll take another look here at this. And Bowman was right there. We've got a timeout, New Canaan. Kevin Marino talking it over with his team. You see Coach Marino there on the far right. He, as I mentioned, he played his high school volleyball at Joel Barlow and then was a, an assistant for the girls program there. And uh, he is now the head coach of the boys program. Just got a chance to talk to him before the match. Great, young, talented coach, and he is passionate much like you are, Chris Leone, mm -hmm, about great. volleyball. We will take a quick break here. Darianne up 18-14 in the second set. They uh, took the first set 1-0. We'll be back on the DAF Media Network. We are back here live. Thanks for tuning in and watching this Varsity Girls Volleyball match. Damian Andrew, Chris Leone joining you. And that'll be a point uh, for Darianne, violation against New Canaan, Chris. That was another mishandled set, yeah. I believe, the call. Ooh, that's a great, great serve by Comiskey. It's almost like a... Knuckleball. Comiskey's racked up a lot of aces this season. She certainly has. And, well, how many times have we jinxed the every server? Time, every, every time. Every time, time today. It. Every time. This is one of our uh, worst broadcasts for yes. that. Every time we have jinxed the server, whether it be for New Canaan or Darianne. We're sending some kind of waves over yeah, there. Yeah. And here is Snedden about to serve for the Rams. Nice jump serve, does the trick, and New Canaan now 
pulls to within four, down 20-16 here in the second set. Good pass by Tall Walker. They look outside the Bowman. It's a great Bowman swing. down, big kill. And we are going to take a look at that. Bowman here on the left side of your screen. Here she is. Big kill, big swing. That's her best hit of the match so far. Yep. She had her timing correct on that one. The set was in the right spot. It was a good all-around play. Good pass to start the whole play. There's Faye. And that'll be a point. Was a off nice of turn. Johnson. Nice turn by Faye. There's Tall Walker. That's a point, Darianne. Comiskey pumps her fist, and the blue wave fired up. Pulling ahead now here. As they're pulling away here in the second set as we take yet another look at this. Nice job by our production crew. Ben Wychulis, Braden Schenk, James Leone, and of course, Jack Blanke. Block slows down this good swing by Leopold. That's deep. Swing out of the back row by Comiskey. And back to serve is Johnson for New Canaan. It's a nice serve by New Canaan. Number nine, Emily Johnson. 23-18, Darianne here. Is it going to make it? A uh, good effort. And New Canaan <laughs> not going away. It's an overpass. Oh, that's too bad. Perone had a nice block on that overpass, but she clipped the net. So the Rams are on a, a little run here, three-point run, closing in the gap. We've got a uh, quick timeout, and we will take a quick timeout. Darianne up in the second set, 23-20. Here comes New Canaan, though. Wave took the first set, 30-28, to a classic first set. We'll be back here on the DAF Media Network. We're back here on the DAF Media Network. Johnson serving for New Canaan. Rams down 23-20, but now it's 23-21, and here wow. comes New Canaan. This was 23-18. 17. 17, yeah. you're right, at it's one point. Run, yeah. And a big run here. All on Johnson's serve. Four consecutive points for the Rams. Wow. And another point, five consecutive points the on the Johnson wave serve. Needs to just slow down, take a deep breath, and just execute a basic pass set hit, and they'll be okay. And That's that goes into break. the net. That is a big break for mm -hmm. Darianne. Yeah, because the Blue Wave hadn't earned anything back, and their momentum definitely was gone. But it was a nice run by Johnson to put him this close.
Both sides keeping the ball alive. Tip. Faye comes off and makes the play on the tip. Big swing by Gray in the middle. Prone had a good defensive dig there. And that is a point for New Canaan, and it's 24-23. I mean, what a match. It's great. We're going to be right back like we were set one now with the neck and neck and extra points. And now Coach LaRusso wants to talk things over with her squad. She calls a timeout. If the Blue Wave can come out of the timeout and just have a nice pass, they can put this set away. What do you think she's saying, Chris? Calm yourselves down. Yeah, just play, get back to the basics. You know, it's such a momentum-shifting sport. We talk about it all the time. Sometimes a timeout can be uh, very helpful. But uh, yeah, New Canaan needs to put this ball in play. Their server has to put the ball over the net into the court, and then Darian just has to pass well. If they pass well, I assume the set's going to go outside to Bowman, and she'll look to put it away the set. Darianne, Chris, uh, coming off a huge win in their match against Fairfield Ludlow earlier in the week. Uh, mm -hmm. Fairfield Ludlow and Greenwich, two of the top teams in the conference. And that was a five-setter, and they won it 3-2. Not the pass they're looking for. There's Bowman. Canaan read the tip. That's and Darianne will survive. They did barely survive that, but that's a win is a win. And take the second set as the Blue Wave win it 25 to 23. The two teams will switch sides. We will take a quick break and we will be back with the third set of this rivalry matchup in varsity girls volleyball between New Canaan and Darianne. Blue Wave up two sets to none.
We are back here live on the DAF Media Network. Damian Andrew alongside the former Georgia Tech Yellow Jacket, Chris Leone, who played her college volleyball, Division I for the Ramblin' Wreck. Georgia Tech, one of the few programs, big athletic programs, that really has two nicknames. Yeah, the Ramblin' Wreck. Two or three, Rec. the Ramblin' Wreck, yeah. the Yellow Jackets. The, yep. You know, so um, they got to get that basketball program oh going, go, go in and then they'll be, uh, they'll be all set. But That's what they used to really be uh, known for. Enough about us and our college, <laughs> <laughs> college the loyalties. Heydays. That's right. Back to this match. And right now it's Darianne up 2 nothing. But uh, what a match. You know, it, it, Darianne taking the first two sets. But, man, oh, man, it could have gone either way. You and I were talking about that off air. New Canaan has played very well. Darianne has played very well. I want to give a, a shout-out to our production crew in just a moment. But uh, L. Snedden is back to serve here to start the third set for New Canaan. Our DAF Media production crew, Braden Shank, the director. Our instant replay coordinator is Ben Wychulis. Up top, our camera operators, camera one is James Leone, camera two is Jack Blanky. And we are just about ready to start this third set. Darianne, as you can see on the bottom of your screen, took the first two sets very close, 30 to 28 and 25-23. Doesn't get much closer than that, Chris Leone. Yeah. And here we go in this third set. New Canaan's been uh, purposely serving Bowman because they know the Blue Wave wants to set her, so they're trying to take her out of the offense by putting the pressure on uh, and serving to her so she has to pass. So now Darianne Smart and pulls her out of the passing lineup. Big swing by Kaniski. Johnson. Deep. And deep. Thought it was a touch on Darianne, but... Uh, it wasn't. Johnson been so impressive in this match. Good serve by Kaminsky. He came and played it up. Two one right now. Darianne. They take the last two points. There's Kaminsky. Great serve. Kaniski on a little bit of a roll right now. Her service game very strong. Yeah, she just brings a lot of heat with her serve and it poses trouble for the passers. Bowman big, big swing. Nice dig right back by Nukanen. Free ball here for Darianne. And a little miscommunication yep. by the Good wave at the net. Bucker. And he touches. Ball's Doesn't out it. of bounds. Point at Darianne. You'll see it again here. Just out of bounds. Great job by our crew bringing you these replays and all the angles of this one. Blue Wave should execute this free ball with a good offensive play. Perone tried to send it over on the second ball since it was tight, but she couldn't quite execute. There's Johnson back to serve for New Canaan. And that goes into the net. Tall Walker wearing the pink. We mentioned in the second set, it is a dig pink match for Darianne. Yeah, Faye touched it twice in a row, which you can't do. And here's Gravero to serve for the Rams. Oh. 
That's out of bounds, Point Darianne. I mentioned earlier in the broadcast how uh, these two teams could potentially meet up uh, in the postseason in the conference right. tournament. They do have a history in the um, postseason. They have met in the state finals before, all the way back in 2002, Class M state finals. Darianne won 3 0. But that was a fun matchup. So there is some history between these two programs. Bowman, that is deep. 6-4 now, Darianne. As the point goes to New Canaan. And Alex Gillespie will serve the junior, number 10. You see her right there. Whiskey rolls it into the hole out of the back row, but McCannon kept it alive. Faye gets it over, nearly a collision with Snedden and Turner. Fire on the outside for the Rams. Bowman will get to serve again. Good crowd on hand for this matchup, as you would expect. Two rivals yep. having at it. Filled up as the time went Absolutely. on. Absolutely. People have been trickling in. Our views have gone up. It's oh, really good. been a competitive match, exciting match. Even though Darianne won the first two sets, uh, very close, they won both of those sets by just two points. Han runs up to pass and sends it over. Good block by Faye. That's a free ball sent over by New Canaan and Darianne's middle and right side had miscommunication of who was going to take control of that. Blue Wave gets the break again off of a New Canaan miss serve. Poland's in the net on the right side for the blue wave. Ten seven here. Adesani comes in, replacing Poland. Great swing by Great swing. Comiskey on the outside. By Comiskey, 11 to seven now. Darianne, nice job there on the instant replay. Johnson. Kamiski saves it. Now a free ball opportunity here for the Rams. That's going to be trouble. Kamiski gets it, though. Kind of fist pumps it over. Yeah. Yeah, That'll it's be a, a lift. Lift there on Darianne, yeah. violation. It'll be a point, New Canaan.
neither team has been able to run away and hide here. Yeah, it's staying close. The runs have been answered to this point. New Canaan has to keep it close because they don't can't stay in the match unless they do. Yeah, right. They're down two sets yep. now, so this is... Uh, and, you know, the Blue Wave doesn't want to let them in the door because if they do, the momentum can swing all the way the other way. You see it all the time. A team takes the first two sets of a five-setter, and then uh, yeah. the opposing team comes back and takes the last three. Well, particularly because New Canaan's been in both the first two sets. It's Absolutely. It's tight, extra points. Kaminsky with a big hit on the outside. We're going to take another look at that, Chris Leone. Here's Kaminsky, big, strong hit. And she is fired up. Yeah, good senior leadership by her. She can get the team's momentum going, especially if she comes in with some good serves now here, too. Nice effort by Sneddon to try to save that ball, but couldn't quite get to it. Kaminsky. And Tall Walker gets it over. Outside Bowman. to Bowman. She's a little early on that approach. And that'll be a violation on New Canaan. And the point to Darianne. 14 9 here, third set. As you can see on your screen, Darianne up 2 0 in the match. Took the first two sets. Oh, good try by New Canaan. And Comiskey's serve here has given New Canaan trouble, and Coach yeah. Kevin Marino is going to take a timeout, wants to settle his team down. Yeah, it was a good little run just now for the Blue Wave off of Comiskey's serve. As you can take a look at the Darianne huddle right here, there's head coach uh, Lori LaRusso talking to Aaron Bowman right now. And coach LaRusso has been at this for a long time and she has built a, uh, well, a tremendous program. Uh, long history for long sure. Long history. I and mean, when you look at it, 10 straight state titles from 2001 to 2010, 17 state titles since 1993, 19 finals appearances. Of course, they last played in the finals of the state tournament a year ago, losing to Amity 3-1 to one, as we take a look at Elena Kamiski, the senior, as I mentioned. Nine seniors on this Darianne team. Another big serve out of Comiskey. Here's Gray in the middle. Able to dig it off the net. Good block by uh, Bowman turning that in. You can see she'll turn her left hand in. It's a good pass by McCain off of a tough serve. And that drops in for Arbu Bakar. And it is now, all of a sudden, 17-9. Darianne in a commanding position here mm -hmm. in the third run. set. A big run here on the Comiskey serve. She got saved there, I think. That ball was deep. Yeah. And it was touched by Gillespie. Yeah, no, Kanan's gonna lose a little heart at this point. If this only goes three sets, not your typical three-setter. I mean, this yeah. is... Uh, the first two sets extremely uh, close. Let's see if New Canaan can make another run like they did in the second set to tighten this match up. Mm -hmm. This is who did it for them too, Johnson. It gave is. them a good run in the second set to pull them back in it, so they'll look for her help again. And Emily Johnson 
Carone at the net. She did a nice job on that tight pass to put that away without getting a net violation. There's Perone at the net. Faye and Darianne keeps it going. 20 to 10 now. Faye with a big swing in the middle off of Gray. Gray was there for the block. Yeah, it's a misfire on the set by Perone. She was trying to push it outside and couldn't quite execute. Twenty to eleven here in the third set. She probably could have got called on that one too. She got lucky, I think. Bowman. Nice dig by number two, Snedden down the line. Bowman with a big swing here as we take a look at our net cam. Nice work. So Perone will serve at 21-11. She catches the line with a for an ace. Tough serving's really what put uh, Darianne ahead comfortably in this third set. So Coco Jepson, the five-seven senior, is now into the game as she replaces Poland. Maybe she'll get set here and get a little action. Bowman big swing. Long rally. Both teams digging it up, keeping the ball alive. Back to Paul, uh, Jepson, and she, hey, she got a kill. She came in and got the kill, that's great. And Jepson. Comes in off the bench, the senior. We're going to take another look at this kill. And she was fired up. Good for her to get to get a, a good touch on the ball after coming in off the bench. Perone serves it out of bounds. Darianne two points away from taking this match. There's Bowman, big swing. Snedden gets it over. So Blue Wave will look to close out the match. They have uh, set and match point right now. And Faye does just that, closes it out with a big kill, and Darianne with a big conference victory over its arch rival, New Canaan. Blue Wave take it 3-0 as they win the third set, 25-12. They take the first set, 30-28, 25-23, the second set, and they win the third set, 25 to 12. And Chris, your thoughts on this one? Certainly the third set, Darianne uh, more commanding. Yep, I think, um, you know, it was very evenly played the first two sets, as you saw by the score. A lot of good rallies, a lot of good plays by both sides. Even battle, and it was even, even in the third set until Darianne had some really strong serving and it put New Canaan on their heels, and that really was the game changer. You know, when you get a commanding lead like Darianne had in that third set, you start being more confident when you're hitting on your offense and everything starts to click more. So that was really the, 
the, the good change for the Blue Wave in that third set to close out the match. So our DAF media production crew, camera one, James Leone, camera two, Jack Blanke. Our director is Braden Shank. Our instant replay coordinator, Ben Wychulis, did a terrific, terrific job. Darianne wins this 3-0 as they beat New Canaan in varsity girls volleyball. Chris, as always, it's been a pleasure. Before Chris Leone and our entire crew, I am Damian Andrew. This has been a production of the DAF Media Network, a joint venture of the Darianne Athletic Foundation and the Darianne Foundation. Once again, Darianne wins 3-0. Enjoy the rest of your night, everybody. Stay safe. Good night.